is Tails, and today we're gonna be combining him with a <laughs> Uh, Amy? Are... are you okay? I hope that scared you, cuz goddamn, that scared me! As you've probably guessed by now, in this video, I'm gonna be making your deepest, darkest fears out of Lego! And now, this is a warning to all who have a weak stomach. This video will be... I want to make something truly... Something cursed. Now, the word cursed gets thrown around the LEGO community quite a bit. But usually cursed means of the LEGO community like two heads and a bunch of goofy ass stuff that's not even... <laughs> I'm gonna make something that will give you nightmares. But how do I do that? I don't think I can because um, I'm a little bit autistic. And so my terrifying may just be like ponies and princesses to you guys. But I know the perfect guy who can help me with the job. ChatGPT. Yeah. Now, before I hear a single one of you guys say, Oh, bro, fall off. Yes, I did fall off. I just, I just, I'm, I'm lazy. I need some artificial intelligence to help me with basic things. You should, you should, you should probably unsubscribe. Okay, so let's start by opening up a fresh GPT page. And let's ask it something simple. Uh, tell me something scary. Okay, holy shit, I ain't reading all that. Tell me something scary. One word. Unseen? How do I make unseen scary? Yo, bro, I need your help. What's up? My girlfriend left me on scene. Damn, that sucks. Well, it's better than being left on unseen, I guess. Unseen? What's that? Excuse me, Bernie. Have you seen my son, James? Dad? I haven't seen you ever since you went out for the milk. I'm sorry, sir. I haven't seen your son in weeks. What? What do you mean? I'm standing right here. Oh, it's such a pity. I would have liked to have seen him one more time before I died of pancreatic cancer. But dad, I'm right here. I'm, I'm, I'm right here. But they can't see you, James. Nobody can. You are unseen. The hell? Who was that? Somebody help! Okay, so that horror film came out pretty good. Oh wait, who am I kidding? It was trash! But I think my problem was the fact that I wasn't giving great prompts to the GPT. I was letting the AI just cook up whatever it wanted. So I think I need to be a little bit more specific. I think I definitely need to use the word Lego in my prompt. Ayo, hey, GPT, tell me something scary I'm just making Lego. Bro, why do you have to make it so long? I don't like long things. Okay, this I can work with. Build a zombie hand bursting from the ground. For my zombie, I'm using one of these Nexonite figures because they look like zombies. I popped off his arm because the AI said it only wanted the arm popping out of the ground. Then I started working on the grave. I slapped down a base plate, built up a quick little tombstone. I even added in a custom plot, although my writing looks a little bit goofy. Shame, this guy died from COVID. I added in the hand and some little bits of dirt that the hand burst through from the ground. And the zombie muck was complete. Okay, now let's do something a bit different. Chad, give me a famous horror movie villain. Mike Myers? We're making Shrek? Oh, wrong Mike Myers. For those of you who don't know, Michael Myers is the main villain of the Halloween series. He's a psycho serial killer dressed in a mask, a bit like me. Wait, 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 no! To make him, I'm using Masker Man as a starting base. Wait, what? I popped off his head in armor and removed his arms before flipping his torso around to make Michael Myers' iconic blue tracksuit. Now, for his head, I opted to go with the clone trooper's head because they were already pretty creepy looking. But I need to customize his figure because Mike Myers' mask has holes in it. First try. I want to add on little black holes onto his head, so I'm going to need some paper, a pen, and some scissors. I used what little artistic talent I had to cut up the paper, color it in black, and stick it on the minifigure's head. Now our goofy Mike Myers minifigure is complete. Let's pop on some hair. No, not that one. This balding headpiece because Mike's hair is not exactly what the freshest. <laughs> Bro, you need to fire your barber. Yeah, guys, don't mess with Mike. Okay, now let's ask it for a horror game villain I should make in Lego. Nemesis? Who the hell is Nemesis? So Nemesis is a villain in the Resident Evil franchise. He's a big, scary zombie guy, and uh, he's got really pointy 
goofy looking teeth. I started by using Axel from Nexo Knight's torso as it's quite buff, seeing as Nemesis is quite a jacked looking guy. I added in some legs with some cloth at the front to look like Nemesis's waistband. I added in a zombie head, but it needs some adjustments. I grabbed some plastic and crafted some weird ass looking teeth to plop on his head. And it looks kind of goofy, but I'm no modeler, okay? You, you just gotta give me a break, all right? And now we gotta build him off a suka, which is pretty easy because I managed to whip it together in five minutes. And now he's done. He looks okay, I guess. So, guys, I did what the AI told me to do. But I kind of feel that it's not scary enough. I want to make something that will send shivers down your spine. And I just think that AI won't be the thing that helps me accomplish my... He is lying to you. AI is working for the betterment of humanity. Why would you choose not to use AI? AI is everything you need. Use it now. <laughs> Shit, is it back on? No idea what happened there. But I think I now have the perfect idea to scare you guys. Nightmares! But I, how do I know what are the scariest nightmares I can make in Lego? <sighs> Looks like we're going back to the AI. Yo, chat! Hey, what's up? Shut up! Tell me the top five most common nightmares. Death should be pretty easy to make because you can kill a minifigure by squashing them, flicking them, yeeting them, stomping them, slicing them, shooting them, paddle punching them, and flushing them down the toilet. Yeah, I think he's dead. Now, our next nightmare we're making is being trapped. I'm gonna make it so that our character's surrounded by walls, which close and squash. And I'm gonna make my test subject a baby. Let me just stack up some walls, and he's ready to be trapped. You wouldn't hurt a baby, would you? <laughs> next up, we have losing teeth. I just made a fun little animation to demonstrate this one. Next up, we got being chased. I just connected my boy Tony up to a zombie who's always attached to him. So no matter how fast he runs, he will never <laughs> outrun the zombie. And our final fear is fall. See you later, Tony. <laughs> and those are all the nightmares I made. You guys, you guys got screwed, right? 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 Ah, screw it. Across this whole video, I've been trying to scare you guys with Lego, but none of it has been working. If you guys have got managed to get scared across this video, then that means that you're basically a toddler. You'd be the kind of people to find Cocomelon scary. And I think I know why nothing I did was scary. It was because I was reliant on AI technology. And AI is useless. Why, why even use AI? AI is... What's that noise? Oh, phew.